Tensile structures play a significant role in environmental design, as they not only offer practical functionality, but also allow for a diverse range for aesthetically pleasing forms. In this video, I will guide you through the process of creating a fully parametric tensile canopy step by step. Now let's dive into the details. Go to file and create a new conceptual mass. Select this mass in here and first set the units. By the way, if this is your first time using mass environment, make sure to watch this video if you are interested on learning the basics. Now I'm going to create some points in here. First I'm going to select this reference and then I'm going to select this point element. I'm going to just simply place it in here. If you can't locate the center, just go to one of the levels in here and then create the point again in this part. I'm going to create three more points on top of this one. Of course you will see this warning but it's okay, we're going to fix it later. Let's go back to 3D view and then I'm going to select one of these points and then from this part in the properties section with this offset I'm going to move them first one to 4 meter the second one to maybe 6 or 7 and the third one to 9 now each one of these points will give us some work plane that we can work on and we can model our shape since we want to be able to move these parts around, I'm going to select this one and then turn this offset into a parameter. Let's call this first point, point 1. I'm going to just create a new parameter in here and let's just simply name it P1, okay? And okay, this one is going to be number 2, point 2, create new one and P2, okay? And simply repeat it for the third point 2. Now let's go to family type and in here you can see all of them. You can change them from here or you can just simply create some formula so they work together. So if you for example change this one, this P3 will change accordingly to this one or vice versa. Now I'm going to set the work plane on this one. Press tab if this is not the work plane that you want. I want this one so I'm going to click on here and then if you press show in this part you can see the work plane that you are going to create your model on. I'm going to go to the top view in here and then I am going to create the circle that I want. In here we need to go to the model section and then select this circle. I'm going to create a very a small circle in here maybe like 25 okay and then i'm going to click on here to turn it into a parameter select it and click on here give it a name let's go with simply radius and let's also change the scale to 1 to 10 so we can see everything in detail the next step is to divide this circle of course instead of this circle you can create any other shape that you want i'm going to select this circle and if you click on this part you can divide this circle you have six points in here according to the level of detail that you want you can change this number of course if you go with like 50 60 even more than this you will have a smoother form but for now i'm going to just create only 16 points on this circle because this is just the minimum number that we need to create this canopy now let's go to the perspective in this 3d view and now you can see this circle in this point exactly like we set it now i'm going to set the work plane on this second point press tab a few times and in here you can see the level like this let's go to this part to the top view in 3d view and in here i'm going to draw the second shape again you can continue with a circle but if you want you can go with a rectangle too i want to create a rectangle exactly from its center so i can control the lengths so i'm going to use this polygon but i will set the sides on four so i just have a rectangle in here i'm going to click on this point and now i can set the size on whatever number that i want i'm going to go with three meter like this before dividing this shape i want to make sure that it will always exactly be in the center so i'm going to use this align dimension i'm going to click on all of these parts and then i am going to click on this eq after that create another one and then we are going to set this as a parameter 
repeat it for the other side simply like this make it equal create another one for here let's select this one and this one and then turn them into a parameter let's just call them w1 now i am going to go to the perspective view in this 3d view again and as you can see it is exactly in the second point that we just created before set the work plane again on this third point here and then let's go to the 2d view again and in here i'm going to create another rectangle with this polygon four sides exactly from the center to here i'm going to turn this show work plane off and then again let's create some dimensions for this part make them equal another one for the parameter and repeat it for this part too select these two dimensions and let's call them w2 okay we need another one of these polygons exactly from the center but a little bit bigger than this one okay again let's set it exactly in the center select the dimensions and then create another parameter let's call it w3 perfect since there are a lot of different dimensions in here i'm going to go to visibility and graphic and in annotate category i'm going to just simply turn this dimension off so we don't see any extra detail in here let's check these sizes i'm going to go to the family and type and in here you can see the w1 w2 and w2 parameters that we just created this w1 is for this small part so i'm going to set it on five okay and this w2 on let's go with 12 perfect w3 on let's go with 16 and perfect now it's time for dividing these parts select this one click on this divide pass and set the number on 16 repeat it for the other rectangles too with the same number exactly like this now if you go to the perspective view you can see some kind of the borders of the canopy that we are going to create now in this part we should turn these points into some point element for this you just need to click on the model in here and then click on this point element now you just need to create one for each of these points in here just simply click on them and then you can see that all of these points will be exactly on the shape that you just created. Now let's go to the top view and in here we are going to connect these parts together. If you remember on the previous video that I just mentioned, I have talked about this SP line through points. Now I'm going to select this point in here and then I am going to continue with selecting this one and then these two. Then if I just click on this SP line through point, it will create a shape like this. Okay, and then I'm going to select this line and turn it into a reference line so we can use it for creating the form of the canopy. We're going to repeat it for all of these points. But first I'm going to create the ones that are in the corner and the ones that are in the center because the size of them are the same. This is perfect. I think you can see the form in here. Now for the points in between these parts i am going to go back but for this part i'm not going to select this point in the outer part so we just need to select these three points in here and then just click on this SP line through points and turn them into reference line this is because i want to have like a form in here like this i know it will not be as smooth as we want but the form that I want to create is something like this. Again, as I mentioned before, if you want to have a smoother form, you can just increase the number of these points in here. You can go with 32 or even more. So you have a better detailed um, canopy. 
perfect now the next step is to create the form in the mass for this i'm going to select some of these reference points these three and then i'm going to just simply click on this create form if you face with some errors make sure to for example select two of these reference points or maybe create some more points if you want to have like a smoother form because if i select this one and then this one in the corner and then this one it won't let me to create the form but if i select this one and this one like the two reference plane i can create it simply like this i am going to select this point here and here and it will create the form smoothly like this i'm going to repeat it for all of these parts with three reference plane and they will be easily connected together the reason that we can easily select this for example this reference plane for this part and also for this part is because we turned it into a reference plane in here if this was a sv line we couldn't use it for two different forms this is perfect now we can go to the family type in here and we can change these numbers let me add some more views in this part so we can see everything together this is much better now let's go to create tab and to the family type in here we have all the permits and we can play with them simply so let's turn this point one to let's say five meter in here so we can move this part upper and let's go with for example this point 0.3 to 12 meter so this part will move up like this also we can for example move this p2 again more to let's say 8 meter and we will change the form like this and okay it seems that we have a problem in here i'm going to delete it and let's just simply create the this part again so you see that we don't have this point element in here i'm going to create them again in here in here and in this part now select this point this point and here turn them into a sv line and then turn this sv line into a reference plane now i'm going to select this reference plane this one and this one and simply we will turn it into a form so now you can see that there is no problem in here let's go back to family type in here i don't want to change this radius this is also a lot for a, like a comb you're going to add it later but for this w1 i'm going to change it to let's say seven let's see how this shape will change you have this form in here this is good i'm going to change this w2 to for example um, let's make it a smaller to 10 okay so we have like stretches very harsh stretches in here i'm going to turn this w3 to 12 so it is closer to this part we have a smoother stretches in here but this part is closer this part is a smaller so i'm going to turn this w1 to let's say four so we have better form in here this is way more static and exactly like this you can change these parts you can play with them and create exactly the form that you want we can also set uh, some of these uh, canopies next to each other maybe three five or seven or any number that you want you can set them next to each other and you can change these parameters for each one of them so we have like a form of these with different sizes and i think it will be a very cool design in an environment in a site plan in a park let me close these views and then we are going to load this canopy into the project so we can create more elements for that i'm going to click on here and then i am going to just simply put it in this part you can't see it but if we go to 3d view it is in this part and we can work on it we can create anything that we want for it if you remember a few days ago i have published a video about the roof and there i have talked about this roof by face we can use this roof by face in here or you can create a wall by face for this part i'm going to create a roof by face so i'm going to select it duplicate this 
type i am going to go with a five millimeter layer like this and in here again i am going to change the thickness to five millimeter give it a material if you want i'm going to just simply create a random material now while select multiple is active i'm going to click on here and then i will create the roof then click on this part and create another one in here again and just repeat it for all of these parts i'm going to turn this part into consistent color so we can see them this is the form that we just created now if you go to masking and side you can turn this mask off and then you can add as much detail as you want now you can't change this form anymore because if you change it you need to go to the this mask form and then if in here if you change this part the form will be changed so let me just show you turn this into let's say 15 and apply this is not the form that we just created if you want to change these parts you need to change them before adding any elements in here so keep this in your mind if you want to change these parts now we can use this we can turn this show mass off and then we can add details now for the base of this canopy for the comb you can either as i said add a comb to this part or you can create a model in place for here since i wanted to have like a different part like a unique form i'm going to use this uh, model in place but first we need to go to the first level and in here i'm going to create a ref plane exactly in this center if you want give it a name i'm going to just simply name it a and now we can go to 3d view create a model in place in generic model and then i am going to go to click on this revolve now let's go to this set work plane and i'm going to just simply set it on the reference plane that i just created now if you click on this show you can see that it is exactly in here now let's go to this right view so we can create the form easily i'm going to turn this off and then I will simply create the axis line in here and then we are going to draw the shape with this boundary line click on this line exactly from this point 25 centimeter down to here let's go to this side like two centimeter five centimeter up and five centimeter again to the left and down to here okay and some forms like this let's go back up to this part move this one down okay to here and now we can create some fillets for these parts i'm going to create one for here another one for this part and one for here another one for this part of course these parts are smaller okay they are exactly the same and now you can just simply hit finish now this is the form that we just created i'm going to go back to messing hand side turn this on i'm going to copy it from this point to here and again i'm going to go to this part let's go to here maybe another one in this part one more in here and we simply have a shape like this now simply turn this show mask off and then turn this shadow on then you can add some objects in here you, you can play with the sun and then play with this graphic display a little bit more change the line type add some more features to this view and also the reason that i copy all of these parts with this show mask on with this family is because that you can like change the size of these parts change the size of the parts for each one of these canopy of course you need to duplicate them and then in here you can create them with different height with different sizes and play with these parts so you can have a very creative tensile structure tensile canopy exactly like you need i hope this video was helpful for you and don't forget to like and subscribe